Greetings, campers. My name is Father Vasily Vranic. I am the priest of St. Luke's Heavy Orthodox Church of Washington, D.C. I would like to say a few words about a topic that has been very much part of our lives in the past few months. I will speak about racism and the Orthodox response to racism, racial injustice, and discrimination. Racism is a belief or a type of human behavior which takes race as the primary factor in determining human capacities. It implies that there is a certain hierarchy in the racial differences. In, in other words, racism is the belief that members of one race are better and more valuable than members of other race or races. We see that throughout human history, the belief that members of race or one people are better than other peoples has always caused great, great pain and suffering. We ought not go farther than the history of slavery in our own country. Fortunately, that sad chapter is, is behind us and we are more and more aware of racial and other social injustices in our society. But we must continue to improve our social awareness and we must constantly strive to understand better the problems of our society and respond to them in a meaningful way, in a manner that is informed by the gospel of Christ and our Orthodox faith. We have our own Christian faith to help us out in this task. The teaching of the Orthodox Church gives us clear guidance on racism. I must say at the outset that the Orthodox Church absolutely and resolutely condemns any type of racism and discrimination. The reason for this lies in the very core of our faith. St. John tells us in his Gospel that God is love. The Holy Fathers of our Church teach us that the purpose of human life is participation in God. Thus, the goal of our lives is to have communion with the love of God, to participate in the love of God. And throughout our lives, we Christians struggle to attain that goal. We struggle to learn how to love. But what does this mean, to learn to love? We read in the Gospel of Matthew that Christ himself said that love thy neighbor as thyself is one of the two greatest commandments. This love, says Christ, is the very foundation of the entire Bible. It is important here to note that Christ gives this commandment in the most universal way. We are commanded to love everyone equally regardless of who they are, or even regardless of whether they love us. We are called to love every human being equally, because we are all equally created by God. We are all equally children of God. In the book of Genesis, the first book in the Bible, we read that all humans are created in the image and likeness of God. However, we all know that there are many differences among humans, and those differences are only superficial. And we must not make our judgments of other people based merely on those differences. Sometimes when we encounter in other people something different from that to which we are accustomed, something unusual to us, or even something that challenges our worldview, we are confused and we struggle as Christians to adapt and tolerate it. We often use the language of tolerance. I tolerate him, I tolerate her. Yet as Christians, we must go a step farther. A mere tolerance is not good enough, since perhaps unintentionally it implies disapproval. As Christians, we are called to accept, without prejudice, differences of others. Acceptance goes a step beyond tolerance. 
if a sign of tolerance is a feeling of I can live with X, that is behavior, religion, race, culture, etc., then acceptance moves beyond that in the direction of, of X poses no problem for me. You can tolerate something without accepting it, but you cannot accept something without tolerating it. As Christians, we are called to exercise empathy and to accept others through empathy, kindness, and love for the neighbor. And we can be very proud of the track record of the Orthodox Church with regards to fighting racism. The Orthodox Church officially condemned all types of racism and discrimination already in 1872 at the Holy and Great Pan-Orthodox Synod of Constantinople. We Serbs are especially proud to say that the first modern constitution of Serbia, which was adopted in 1835, some 30 years before the end of slavery in the United States. The constitution is known as the Sretinski Usta and proclaims that every enslaved person who sets his or her foot on the Serbian soil immediately becomes a free person. We can be proud of the freedom-loving legacy of our ancestors, both our spiritual and our Serbian ancestors. So how do we move away from racism? Well, instead of looking at the differences and what divides us, what sets us apart from each other, we ought to ask, what is it that unites us? The answer is readily available to us Christians. It is in the Bible. We are all united by the human nature and the call of God to use this life that we have been given here on earth to come closer to God, to him, by doing good. By loving our neighbor as ourselves, we are keeping Christ's commandment. We are being true to the Bible, and thus we fulfill the purpose of our lives, to become image and likeness of God. And thus, we participate in God's love. <laughs>